Yeah. You checked everything? It fits? Same? Same way? Oh, shit. Okay, so Aaron took this even to the place so he could just match it up. It comes with the new yeah, clamps and everything. Shit. Yeah, that, we won't use those. Yeah. Probably like 3.30 now, almost. Um, usually Aaron goes home at 5, but he's willing to stay till we confirm this shit actually works! Ah! Depends on how much more modification you gotta do to make this one fit. Well, Alright, so we're about to take off. So what you're seeing is a new turbo I already put in. I had to modify this pipe elbow, weld it, weld do the return line fitting. This gear rat turbo actually has a coolant lines. So we have to make new coolant lines. Yeah, new coolant lines, return lines, because the had return to make lines. A new return line. Yeah, return line had to be lengthened a little bit. So this is a lot of work, a lot of work, but we got it done. And with help. But then, this. yeah. <laughs> like this. Yeah, and as soon as we try to put the the feed line fitting, it didn't fit. So I don't know why the hell they want to use a different size. I mean, Precision's the one that actually using a different size. Because the Garrett's yeah. the, uh, the original yeah. one, yeah. So, so this is 7 16th to 24th or something. And this is 1 8th. This is the Precision feed fitting. And this is the Garrett one. Only for the ball bearing. Garrett. Garrett. So, which is kind of stupid. And this is the only part that we're missing. And since we, we need to use a restrictor on this, we uh, can't just go ahead and you know use a, some random fitting. So I just kind of move, you know, asked around and everything, local shops. But right now it's about like 7:30, so it's kind of too late. Yeah, nobody. The, how how it? This is a new GTX Gen 2 turbocharger, by the way. <coughs> um, supposedly, like it could make the power that GT. 35 makes like older GT35s not the newer ones but it has more low and mid range so that's what you're looking for So I got it done with the custom tune. Um, the owner actually went for a test drive. Came back. Um, he's pretty happy with it. Um, we weren't trying to make more power. But, you know, there were some issues with that can tune that he got with the turbo kit. Um, so, you know, it was constantly given some stabilizer um, light on. The check engine light goes check engine light and uh, you know the tune itself was like a little too violent. Um, today's a very tiring day. Aaron had to run around a lot to get some fittings. Um, I had to run to some shop and get some fittings uh, for this turbo that we couldn't finish yesterday um, because of the stupid fitting. Good news is basically I'm still you know happy with it you know though it was a tiring day is that there's no smoke whatsoever coming from the turbo um, so the whole time it was a precision turbo that was giving us problem and obviously you know they weren't you know really willing to help Aaron just yeah. has to finish a few things here and then today I'm just gonna stay here and finish up a few things so what I want to do is um, put this intake pipe all right so after an hour or so made this uh, custom intake pipe um, before cleaning it up so it's probably still a little hot so this is from that that piece of shit 240SX that um, Aaron had before the owner had uh, some type of a steel intake the previous owner had it intake and um, you know nothing wrong with it a little heavier than aluminum so <clears throat> I did, just didn't have no choice but using anything um, but 
but aluminum so it's just made, made out of a steel these are actually this bigger hole is actually made out of a factory return line and this is a, a cool line so something all... I really don't need to do because it never came with the intake but I'm just gonna make this these nipples so one will go right to one of the vent and the other one will go to this one here so when the filters put together and the turbo spinning it will make some type of uh, vacuum here and then it will actually suck all the air that's needed to supply this actually sucks the air in to the intake um, intake manifold and this one will help sucking out um, the blow by so <clears throat> just gonna kind of clean it up I just added some of that little racing looking thing over here that wasn't really needed but it looks cool so uh, once it's sprayed nicely it will look pretty good um, so just did a few coats on the spray painting on this thing but um so just leaving the shop now did a few coats on the paint they'll do the job just fine you know it's not a body shop here so but it'll look pretty decent better than way better than before